nostalgia questions to do Cloud Man today. And for Cloud Man, we have our typical Cloud Man countering folder anti electrics, and of course, Lance. Land Star can be farmed in Nebula Area for Green Mystery Datas. And some Boomers thrown in for filler. And Cactus Balls, which may or may not be, you know, useful against Cloudman, depending on if, if it's clouds getting your way. So before I move on to the real part of this video, I'm going to be um, finding Cloudman Beta over here. Because I want to show off something. And that's namely, if you S rank a Beta level Navi, you will get the DS chip right off the bat. Of course, you can just do that by uh, getting a busting level of 9 against the Omega versions. And he's dead. Well, that's it. So yeah, Cloudman DS. I need to jack back out and jack back in if I want to get my uh, SP version ship. Give me a second. And we're back. So we're going to go for a 10 second S rank here because 10 second S ranks will max out the SP chip that you can get from any boss. That means you need to pull off some super combos. This might take a while. And it did take a while. God damn it. Okay, focus. We don't want to use any kind of dark wide. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This isn't fair. You know what? No. No, no, no. I'm going to do this a different way. You didn't actually learn anything from that. That was the obvious method of doing this. Too obvious. I'm going to go for an even faster method. Okay. Sweet. So when you go Tomahawk Soul against Cloudman, we unlock a new mini game. How fast can you press A? One, two, three. I win. Yeah. Tomahawk Soul is kind of overpowered. Every time you use a grass chip on a grass panel, it doubles the attack of the chip, which further doubles against Cloud Man. So Lance does 130 times 4 is 520, times 3 is 1560. And that's game over. <sighs> so. I need to go move on to Proto Man next because that version is a little harder to do this with. So to compete with the kind of damage that Kernel version can output against Cloud Man, we need to counter on the Proto Man version. Oh, that was quick. So yeah, like I said, we need to be able to counter this boss, which I'll show you in just a second. Learn the frames, people. Learn the frames. Counter. Now, let's see. If Cactus Balls can, can work here, but the clouds are, will determine if it will really work or not. Let's see how his clouds are feeling today. Come on. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. Okay. Goodbye. So yeah, that was a pretty obvious method. Just power up Cactus Ball insanely and just let it rip. And hope, of course, the clouds don't block you. Pretty much an obvious method, so I'm going to try to do something a little bit more creative. Okay. So again, regardless of what I'm trying to do here, learn to counter this boss. He moves five squares and then attacks for five. See? Five squares and then attacks. Oh my goodness. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No, 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 no. I'm going for this. Whoops. Endgame over once again. So yeah. 
Cloud Man is actually one of the easiest bosses to counter in Bounder at 5. He moves 5 squares and then attacks. So if you have Lance, boom, counter. And then just follow up with something else. Next! 